There's a California crime wave that should see more people leaving the Golden State for greener pastures, but the crime wave isn't just in California. I'm going to tell you about it. So I came across this article in The Hollywood Reporter of all places that says amid crime concerns, wealthy homeowners seek to install panic rooms with some steel encased versions running up to $1 million to build, while one Malibu project included a secret tunnel out to the beach. Now, if it's your first time here, my name is Andrew Henderson, I'm the founder of Nomad Capitalist, where a boutique consultancy to seven and eight figure entrepreneurs and investors who want to legally reduce their taxes by going overseas, protect their assets, get dual citizenship. I'm also the host of the biggest and best offshore conference called Nomad Capitalist Live. So this article talks about demand for safe rooms skyrocketing in Los Angeles. And it begins with a story that we've seen here at Nomad Capitalist in recent years as more people are coming to us seeing how their Western government, whether it's the US, Canada, Australia, has handled the last couple of years fiscally and with their freedom. There's a guy named Dean Cryer. He's the vice president of international operations at Building Consensus Panic Room Builders, who says our influx of inquiries has increased more than 1,000% over the past three months. It's gone insane. The reason that inquiries are going through the roof is that there is a so-called California crime wave that you've probably seen in the news, where you've seen the Los Angeles train depot being looted. All the packages that go through there have been opened up by all the people who, who live down there. It's causing a huge mess. When you look at a photo of it, and we posted it on our, our social media, people said, I thought it was some kind of third world country. It is. It's downtown Los Angeles. But now the crime is spreading outside of downtown Los Angeles and into the suburbs in California. The article says because of the perceived increase in crime in metropolitan areas and high profile murders and robberies in high net worth neighborhoods like Beverly Hills, Hidden rooms are definitely trending right now. In the LA area, some houses selling for as low as four or five million bucks are getting kitted out, especially spec homes. Quote, I think that they are not something that in an immediate sense increases value, says Douglas Elliman, real estate agent Greg Holcomb. But when a buyer is interested in the house anyway, he thinks it does help to boost interest. Real estate agents though can never tell casual buyers or appraisers the exact location of a safe room for obvious reasons. Often they can't mention its existence at all until the property's under contract. You never know who's potentially casing a house. The last thing that you want to do is show them, hey, here's the panic room and here's how you access it, says John Grauman of the real estate firm, the agency. And so the article goes on and talks about panic rooms and how they're being built in California. Now, I read news in the United States, even though I no longer live there, because I talk to a lot of Americans and Westerners on an ongoing basis, and I need to know what's going on. And we see headlines about rising crime in New York. People are being arrested. They're being let at the same day. Some people commit 100 different crimes. There was an issue in Miami Beach recently, a crime wave. Um, and in Los Angeles, it seems to especially have affected some of the more toning areas, even affecting Beverly Hills. Now, let me put this in perspective. We tell people, and we help people here all the time, legally go where you're treated best. If you live in the United States, California is probably the worst place to live for taxes. They're constantly trying to raise them. Even people who have just capital gains are getting squeezed by the high tax rate in California. You could save a fortune just moving anywhere else in the union. If you run a business, you're getting especially squeezed. They want to raise income tax rates. They want to put a wealth tax in. They want to put a retroactive tax in. They keep coming out with new taxes. It keeps becoming more expensive to live. And what do you get in return? Houses that are worth even uh, four or five million dollars. It's not a ton of money right now in Los Angeles. They're putting in panic rooms that, that they're probably not getting the one million dollar panic room in the four million dollar house, but they are Basically, what developers are having to do is saying, hey, if I'm going to make this property more marketable, let me put the panic room in. Buyers are saying, I'm going to go out and look for a property that has this panic room because they are so concerned at the even the four or five million dollar home level, let alone I imagine the 10, 20, 50 million dollar level, that there are literally robberies, murders going on in some of the best neighborhoods of Los Angeles, let alone what's happening just in the city in a whole, let alone what's happening in some of the, the larger metropolitan areas in the United States today and in other Western countries. Now, here's the deal. You paid them taxes. Tax is the, prices for, tax is the price we pay for civilization, right? That's what they say. You're paying more and more and more taxes. They're giving you less and less and less. They've been taking away your freedoms. They've been charging you more, and now they can't even keep you safe. Here's been my position for a long time. You can leave California and you can go to Phoenix, you can go to Las Vegas, you can go to Austin, you can go to Miami, and that's fine. You're gonna, you are going to reduce your taxes to a certain extent. But if you're gonna move, you might as well move. And I think the one thing that people who are from Los Angeles, for example, overlook is, 
you know what? As I said, we've seen articles about crime happening in places like Miami Beach. So are you going to go there and run into the same problem? Right? Are you going to have the same weather that you love about living in Southern California? Where are you going to find that? Uh, and so my thought has been, if you're going to move, you might as well move. Your governor, Gavin Newsom, said, where are you going to go? And our speaker this year at Nomad Capitalist Live, Adam Carolla, has been saying for years on his podcast and his comedy act that California is basically, uh, you know, the cheerleader that 30 years ago was the cat's meow and now, you know, hasn't really put in the effort. It's just kind of been getting by and it's not working anymore. Where are you going to go? There are a lot of places, not only where Adam Carolla talks about, like, hey, I can move to Texas, I can move to Phoenix, I can move to Las Vegas, I can move to Miami. But there are other places in the world that have the California climate. We made an episode about it. You can find the link in the description. Places around the world with the California climate where you could reduce your tax to, in some cases, zero. Yes, even as an American, but more likely five, ten, something like that percent. Uh, you could move to Puerto Rico and dramatically slash your taxes down to zero or four or somewhere in that range percent. You could move to parts of South America and get that same coastal climate with a tax exemption. And depending on how your business is structured, you could dramatically reduce your tax rate far more than you could moving to Texas or to Miami. Right? And so you've got this California, which still thinks it's the bell of the ball. They can't even keep your home safe. You've got to put a panic rib in to protect against not what I'm calling the California crime wave, but what the Hollywood Reporter, about as California as it gets, what agents there are talking about. And I'll tell you, one of my, my few guilty pleasures is I watch a real estate show based in Los Angeles that's from the Bravo channel. It's gotten way too dramatic for me in recent years. I just like the deals. I like the salesmanship. Uh, but what's happening in recent years on this show is you're seeing agents coming in from out of state who are asking, you know, isn't this price a little high given that the taxes in California are high, people are kind of moving out, you know, the freedom is going down. Like even people who are coming to buy in California are like, I want a discount because this place is on the rocks. It's just not worth it anymore. And so California has been this great brand name. It's California Dream and the California Girls, like everything California, it's been so well marketed. Well, how long does that marketing last? And how long should that marketing last for you, the successful entrepreneur, the successful investor, when you live in Beverly Hills and you can't even feel safe there? Forget what happens in East Los Angeles or some, forget that. In Beverly Hills, you can't even feel safe and people are putting in panic rooms. Now listen, certain people are just gonna have panic rooms because they personally need it. You're gonna have some of those folks in Los Angeles. But the average person buying a four or five million dollar house doesn't. That's the state of what's happening in California. You're paying for this. Some people that we talk to are paying 60% tax by the time you add everything in, just for the privilege of living in California. I promise you, you can find the same weather in places in Portugal. We've done this episode. Places in Portugal, other places in the Mediterranean, places in Chile. I think there were some places in Ecuador and Costa Rica that kind of have that same Southern California climate. Sometimes it's a microclimate. It's harder, harder to find. There are places that are inland that have the same temperatures. There are places all over the world where you can emulate that. And again, many of these places have tax incentives far better than what you'd get by moving to Las Vegas and sweltering in the summer what you, you know, far less expensive than you get by moving to Miami and having the humidity. You can re recreate that climate somewhere else. I promise you, if you're a single guy, oh, where else are you going to find the girls on the beach? Yeah, lots of girls on lots of beaches all around the world, okay? What happens is now you are paying for a brand name where your governor thinks you literally have no other options at a time when there are literally more options than any time in human history. You have countries that weren't even on a map 30 years ago that now are accessible. You can go there and they're giving you tax incentives. I was just in Uruguay last year. No, no taxes for years. Come on down. We'll leave you alone. They've got a nice climate. They've got beautiful beaches. They've got beautiful vistas. I'm sitting at a multi-million dollar home. So you can go and find those places all around the world. You can take back control of your taxes. You can potentially offer better opportunities for your family, open up new markets for your business just by doing this. And oh, by the way, maybe prevent yourself from being robbed, maybe prevent yourself from being killed and being surrounded by the California crime wave. The, the bloom is off the rose in California. Why anyone successful still lives there. I get there's Silicon Valley. There's lots of Silicon Valleys opening up in Northern California. There's lots of that opening up in cities all around the world. Lots of places vying to be Silicon Valley. Heck, bring your Silicon Valley company there. There may be a place that'll give you a second citizenship just for bringing your employees there. So whether you're in Northern California, Southern California, so many better opportunities. Why face the California crime wave? It isn't worth it anymore.